Are you looking for a place to sell your artwork or do you want to turn your hobby into actual sales? If so, what about selling them at the cafe in your local? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chikako. I'm an illustrator who loves spending time at coffee shop. Isn't it like a dream if you could see your artwork at one of your favorite places? Just giving you an idea, currently I'm selling digital prints and some souvenirs in cafes. It's becoming helpful sources of side income even when I'm not in the cafe. Also, I'm enjoying the delicious coffee from my artworks. If you want to do the same, I'm going to show you how I get there by step by step. Let's dive in, artist! This video will cover 5 steps. How do you find a cafe? How do you negotiate with an owner? What do you want to know before putting your artwork? What product do you sell? What would you do when you sell your product? In the end of the video, you will know what's the next action. First, how do you find a cafe? There are three paths that I went through. First one is for you if you're feeling scared to ask directly, like, could you sell my artwork here? Instead, let's step back and then see around in the cafe. Do you find other people's artwork inside? If so, lucky you. Let's start a conversation like, Wow, these artworks are so beautiful. Pra 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 pra. Oh, by the way, I'm an artist too, and I'm also looking for places to show my artwork. I like your cafe. How does it work if I want to sell here? It's just an example conversation like that. The second option that I did was to find a blank wall, ask them if they are interested in showing your artwork. If you talk to your staff, most of the cases you might receive a response like, ah, oh, I don't know, I'm just working here. I need to talk to a manager or boss. Get the name, contact, like phone number or email email, then send a message to them. You might get a response or leave your business card with a little note. The third way, you will be a regular customer until the point they remember your face. And once you get comfortable to talk to, you can start a conversation. My pro tip is not only saying hi to them, remember their name, ask them how's their day. If you care about them, they start to care about you as well. That's how the conversation begins. Which option do you want to go? Alright, for doing this, bring your business card all the time so that you can show your professionalism as an artist. It should include your name, email, phone number, preferably your portfolio or website. Somewhere they can see your artwork. Instagram is fine as well. Keep in mind, you don't have to sell yourself for the first visit. Don't forget to think about three parts from your side. How's the mood in the cafe? If you don't enjoy the mood, which means that your artwork cannot be happy either, they need to stay a whole day or whole month. Do you think your style matches? Your artwork are there. Is it imaginable? Check the customers too. Do they look like happy or frustrated, just want to grab a coffee and then go? There will be more possibility if customer stays longer or use the place like a community. Check some few cafes. You really know differences. I promise. So far so good. We can go next step. Now you find the cafe, owner say yes. That's great! First things first, they are giving you a space. If they are super supportive people, they are not gonna charge you, but most of the cases, it's business for you and them. There are two paths that I know. First, pay them monthly for a space. This one so far, I've never done it yet. Most of the cases are second one, paying the commissions to them. I tried few cafes and my experience was from 10 to 40% of commission from your sales. When you agree with 40%, you want to increase your price mostly double so that you don't feel bad when they sell, which means a customer pays more. All right, what do you need to know before putting your artwork there? If you just put your artwork in the shelf, you don't have a lot of concern about it. Just make a price tag, make a little profile about you, ready to go. But if it's wool, there are some stuff that you need to care about. 
if you want to use nails and a hammer to the wall, ask them before doing it. It could be a seed of big trouble. If they say no for using nail and hammer, there are very genius products like this. This is a um, tape that doesn't give any damage to the wall. If you have never tried, take those two, attach them like this and put them on the wall. Just in case, I will leave a link below. Pro tip when you use it. Their walls are surprisingly dirty and oily sometimes. Don't forget to wipe them before putting your artwork. Otherwise, it's possible that it won't attach. Also, avoid places where it might hit customer. If a frame fall above a customer's head, oh, you don't want to think about this tragedy, right? What do you sell? For this, I will show you what I'm selling. I am selling local magnets, postcard, greeting card, and stickers on the shelf. On the wall, I'm putting my digital works. Just for inspiration, my friend Rie is selling her earring on the wall like a showcase. And Kasumi sells her canvases. To know about you more, please leave a comment to tell me what you are selling. Little tips here. People love local stuff. For me, magnets are for tourists or someone who visits Canada. And these postcards are especially for famous spots in Vancouver City. What would you do if you sell? There are two patterns that I experienced. First one, an owner doesn't want to get involved with payment process. So what you're gonna do is to put your information out there and customer gonna contact you in person and then you will make an appointment for selling. The second pattern is they collect by cash. They don't want to take a card because they want to separate from your sales and their sales. Each transfer could work if you are there, but I have an experience that I don't know for some reason. It took six hours to receive money and there are a bit awkward moments between me and the customer. Thankfully, he was my friend, so I didn't keep him like six hours there, but still, you know, <laughs> yeah, cash could be safe. The best performance, in my opinion, is to ask them collecting the cash when you visit there, you will pay commission to them from your sales. Overall experience, I enjoy selling my artwork at cafe. There are some interactive customers talking to me. It helps me to spread my name inside regular customers. <laughs> also, you can help local business from your artworks too. Especially it's great if you have your favorite place that you want to help. If you have any question and concern, please let me know in the comment. I'm happy to help. We are a team of art businesses. Let's grow together. Also, I'm super happy if you could subscribe this channel so that I can share more inspiration with you. Every Thursday, I'm updating my new video, so please don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.